everyone, it's your girl Miss Natty D here and you are in my kitchen. See that lovely giraffe painting I did? I painted with a twist. Yeah, do my own decorations. Well, I'm actually doing a fun little video today on how to cut a pomegranate without the mess. Now, it's my favorite time of the year, winter. Don't really like the cold, but I love the holiday spirit. And one of my favorite things to do during winter is eat pomegranates. Yes, Trader Joe's, they are like $1.99. Go get them because Publix prices are ridiculous. So I'm going to show you kind of like a quick and easy way of how to cut pomegranates without all the mess. And as we all know, try not to get any pomegranate seeds on the floor on your shirt because they're really hard to take out. First things first, I have the bowl of water ready to go and I have the beautiful pomegranate that I'll be working with today. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the pomegranate and half watch your fingers i think i have like a paula dean knife so it gets in real good not condoning paula dean in any way shape or form but i am not gonna lie her knives are on point and for some reason i don't know how to cut a piece of fruit today okay do, 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 do. Oh my gosh look how beautiful that is look at the red oh my god it's so delicious and actually um i've been so ready for pomegranates that i actually bought pomegranate hard candy at um whole foods like a couple weeks ago when i saw it in stores uh, i almost died guys so we're gonna cut it open and you see how nice and beautiful that is See that? Oh, it's so gorgeous. Let me get you a close up. You see how gorgeous that color is? Look at that. So beautiful. Yeah. So the next thing we're gonna do is actually submerge the pomegranate um, in a bowl of water. I'm gonna wipe my hands for a second so I can show you. So step two is we're actually gonna just break it in half. I'm gonna actually cut it one more time just so it fits easier. Okay, so I just broke the pomegranate in half. So we're gonna put it in the bowl of water and then we're gonna break it again. And literally all you have to do, you see as I'm doing, just put it in the water and then just let the pomegranate seeds flow out naturally. You see, I'm trying to get a close up. Just let them flow out. Cause you know, when I do it by hand, I'm not doing it with water. Like all, I get all like the white stuff in it and then I have to like pick it out. And I'm one of those people where it's like, if I'm eating grapes, not like this is a grape, obviously it's a pomegranate. It's like if I'm eating grapes or something, like I do not like picking out the stems and stuff. What I love about if you break it in water, it's like it literally kind of just cleans off all the white skin part for you. And it just comes off pretty easy, you know? Um, and pomegra pomegranates are great for you. You know, it's a really healthy treat and like two bucks. Come on, guys. Um, what do we spend two bucks on? I don't know. I don't know about you, but I am um, a candy holic. I'm getting better. But pomegranates are just like nature's treat. And actually, fun little story. Um, the first time I heard about pomegranates was I think my sister, she was in some. English class or something in school and I think in like Greek literature Persephone she ate like seven pomegranate seeds so she had to stay with Hades for seven years there's a story like that somewhere I think it's involving Hercules eh, don't quote me on that but I'm just gonna kind of show you what we have going on in the bowl right now All right, so you see it's like the seeds are kind of just like, you know, clean, ready to eat, ready to go. Um, the skin isn't attached to it or anything, maybe a couple pieces, but it just comes off so smoothly and you don't spend all your time like, you know, breaking up 
um, the pomegranate seeds. You just do it in the water and it flows right off. Uh, so let me adjust my camera one more time. Uh, what else did I do today, you guys? Uh, actually, I just came back from a screening of the Central Park Five. Um, the film was done by a documentarian, Ken Burns, and he actually is the guy, oh my gosh, I have to show you this. Look at how beautiful this pomegranate is. Let me tell you. Let me try and get a close up so you can just see just how gorgeous like the color is on it. I don't know if you can see, but like it's so gorgeous. So yeah, I'm Ken Burns. He's a documentarian and he's actually the guy who is kind of who kind of coined the phrase Ken Burns effect. So that's kind of like the panning and zoom in, zoom out effect you see on pictures. And the movie was really good. Actually, two of the guys who were wrongly convicted in the Central Park 5 case came and they also did a Q&A, but it was just a really great movie. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's called The Central Park 5 came out in 2012, but hey, still relevant today. What was going on back in the late 80s with them? Look, new days, maybe new technology around, but same verdict, you know what I mean? Anyway, look, we're almost done. We only have like one more piece of the pomegranate left. I actually just like to, um, I don't know, Maybe if I was really hungry or I thought, oh my gosh, I really need the snack, then I'd like, um, I don't know, like cut up the whole pomegranate. I'm just gonna do like about half of it. And then I just put the other half in a baggie in the fridge and it stays ready to go. The only thing I didn't like about the first pomegranate I got was that it had like the white seeds and the white seeds taste like, I don't know, if you guys eat pomegranates, you know, there are some clear seeds and I don't know, just it's just not as sweet, but this one is like nice and red and ripe, juicy. And I am so excited to indulge in this in a couple minutes, you guys. You have absolutely no idea. And sidebar, I will be bringing you some more um, entertainment commentary this week. Um, it's just been a little crazy for me, so bear with me, guys. And, you know, I appreciate all the love on my channel and the new subscribers and um, that means a lot to me, so thank you very much. Okay, let me actually throw like the skin part away so you can see just all the beautiful seeds in here. Give me a second, guys. It is looking gorgeous. Look at that. Ugh. All these beautiful like pomegranate seeds. And then all you really need to do after that is just like drain out the water. So here's the finished product, you guys. A beautiful bowl of pomegranate seeds. So I know, be careful when you're pouring out the water so none of them fall in the drain. That actually just happened to me. Just a couple little CDs I lost, but most of the soldiers are here. So gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary and I'm actually just gonna take some pomegranate seeds and eat them right now. Oh my God. So good. But thank you guys for tuning in and I'll bring, bring you more videos. Let me know if you want me to do more food videos. It's been a while, but I do plan to do more. One thing I actually really want to do is like my own acai bowl. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, they have them at like Kami Crazy. I had it before, it's so good. It's like the smoothie um, is kind of the base and they have like um, chia seeds and blueberries and like sliced bananas on top and all this good stuff. I kind of want to do my own version at home, see how that, kind of want to do my own version at home, see how that turned out. Well, if you like this video, like my channel and subscribe to Miss Natty D and I'll see you guys soon.